Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Brendan O'Neill. I'm your host here. And as you know, uh, I've been a private investigator now for almost 20 years in Colorado. And I've worked a lot of scams over the years, helping uh, victims of cyber crime, among other things. And what I want to talk about today is, I think we're all pretty familiar with phishing scams. You know, you get a text or an email that looks like it's from a legitimate source and maybe you're distracted, you're not really thinking, and then bam, you click on it and you may have exposed yourself and or your company to a virus and allow them to penetrate and start extracting data and you won't even know it. Uh, sometimes they use that for cyber extortion. And we'll have episodes on that down the road, but I think most people get it. And we all fall for it, it's happened to the best of us. So if it's happened to you, don't feel bad. A lot, of, a lot of the times it's benign or no damage is done, but when there is damage done, it's really bad. So let me show you the scan that's becoming really prevalent so you can be aware of it. This has affected corporations, private individuals, I mean, your home, PC, things like that. Uh, that's how they're getting into your system, getting information, financial data, even medical information. So... It's with this device right here that I'm sure we're all familiar with, a, a thumb drive or a USB drive, whichever you prefer to call it. What's going on, and, and these are just some examples of how it's happening. So the cyber thieves want to get into a corporation, let's say, for example. So what they do is they take this thumb drive and they leave it in the parking lot of a corporation. They, you know, Let's say they do it in the middle of the night hoping that an employee is going to walk in, see it, pick it up and think, oh, well, somebody must have dropped this. And they may decide, well, I'll just plug it in and see what's on it. And that way I'll know who to return it to. Once that's done, and this has actually happened, once that's done, it's in the system. And again, you're open to cyber extortion. You're open to all that information being put out there about your employees, financial information, trade secrets, all sorts of things. And it happens more often than you know. Uh, I have a law firm that I've done some work for. They got hit for about $45 million in lost revenue because an employee picked up a thumb drive. The forensic investigators traced this back, picked up a thumb drive in the parking lot, plugged it in, and bam, that was it. It shut down their system for two weeks. They didn't ask for anything. It was just done, uh, I guess, out of spite for whatever reason. Could have been a competitor. I do know that this law firm did a lot of high-end corporate work uh, between international companies. So it might have had something to do with it. Who knows? That happens all the time. So obviously, you, pick, you see a thumb drive. Sure, you can pick it up, turn it in, explain the situation. Let someone open it up that can do it under a safe situation where it's a computer that is not connected to anything and has no information on it. That's the safest, best way to do it. And then you can determine, yeah, it's, it's legitimate or no, this was a scam. We almost got hit. Now, let me tell you how it happens with private individuals. Same thing. Oftentimes, a thumb drive gets left in the parking lot of a grocery store where a lot of people are going in and out. You pick it up. Maybe you think, well, I'll just see what's on it. I'm curious. And you take it home, plug it in, and bam, suddenly you're compromised. You could be blackmailed. You could have your information out there. Any sort of, any number of things. You could even have things like, for example, child pornography downloaded onto your computer without you even knowing. You can imagine the ramifications of that. I mean, they're not good. Another thing that's happening, and I worked a case where we actually caught this on the surveillance video. Luckily, it had been preserved by the store long enough. A woman was shopping at a grocery store, had her purse open in the baby seat area. And we finally caught the guy on camera. I mean, he was quick. He waited until she was distracted and he dropped this into her purse. She didn't even know it was there. And then it might've been a few days later. It might've been a week, a month. Maybe she's going through her purse and finds it and thinks, well, you know, forgets about, you know, any connection to any grocery store, right? Because she didn't know it was there. Out of curiosity, she plugs it in, bam, it happens again. And it does happen every day. 
and it's a very advanced way of immediately getting the information into your system, your device, that, that can cause incredible damage. So I just want to make people aware of that. If you find one, don't plug it in, turn it in. You might even want to, you know, uh, talk to store security, explain the situation and let them handle it. Hopefully they've got somebody that knows what they're doing, but you might want to make sure, well, forget might do make sure you tell them, Hey, I found this in the parking lot. I have no idea what it is. It could have a virus on it. We don't know. I mean, can you imagine a major grocery chain having something like this put into their system, what that could do? So think about that next time. I just want to make you guys aware, you know, stay cyber safe. You know, there's a lot of uh, bad stuff going on out there. It seems like it's getting worse as criminals become more advanced. And I think sometimes, you know, people become more desperate. They want to make that quick, easy buck. So think about that. Be safe. And I hope this helped. All right, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.